you know, I, I arrived in New York City uh, in the very early 80s uh, from, from Europe, actually. I'd spent a year there. And for real quick background, I, you know, you know, this was early 80s, so much, much, much younger. But I had spent, from age 11 on, I began doing, I learned, I, I learned oil painting from a master. Twice a week, I took uh, courses from him, which he gave me for free. And uh, he, he only asked that my parents get me to the location so he could teach me. So I did that for four years. And by the time I was done, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, I don't want to do oil painting anymore. But I had learned to do uh, portraiture and landscapes and that sort of thing, at least, you know, for my, at, at that level, I thought. But I was getting commissions from age 11, 12, 13. I was doing murals on people's, uh, uh, inside people's homes. Uh, I, I do portraits uh, of people and stuff. So, you know, when you're a, a young teenager, a child, you fancy yourself as, oh, I'm a singer because you sing, or I play drums, so I'm a drummer. And I simply believed I'm an artist. I, I didn't wait for permission. I didn't, I didn't go to art school, uh, none of that. And I, I have long been confident I'm an artist. And I would say to people, I'm an artist. And here in America, you know, the towns, the place I had lived at uh, uh, across the country, rarely could you say I'm an artist without people saying, but what do you really do? What do you really do? Until I went to Europe and I, I had never been there before and bought a one-way ticket and I had $200 in my pocket and arrived in Barcelona and I set up camp. And it was the first time that people would say, what do you do? And I would say, I'm an artist. And they answered, what kind of artist? What kind of art do you do? Could I see your work? So I lived there a year as an artist where people were constantly like backing you. Yeah, you're an artist, you're an artist, you know? Even though I didn't have a gal, I didn't have any of that thing. So when I arrived in New York City, I had this full year of being treated as an artist by my fellow citizens. And when I arrived in New York, you can bet that's some stiff, you're, you're up against it, right? Uh, uh, and I just had all the confidence in the world because I'm, I'm an artist and they accepted me as an artist. So at the time, Keith Haring was everywhere, everywhere. We, I have a Keith Haring original from the subway that I'm looking at right now. Um, so I, I go there, people like Keith Haring, Kenny Scharf, uh, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, these guys were just all over the street. Uh, Keith did charcoal drawings, mostly in the subway, but he also did them on the sidewalk. Uh, Basquiat was a painter type. He signed his name Samu, S-A-M-U. And uh, Scharf was these crazy spray paints. And uh, 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 there, were, there were many other stash, slash, I mean, they, they, these, they were everywhere. And I wanted to participate in this social milieu via art, via street art, but I didn't want to use spray paint. I, that, I just didn't want to do that. So I thought, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And the first thing I did was, uh, you know, message in a bottle by Sting. That, that, was, that had been popular. I began leaving messages inside bottles. And I would just put corks in them and just leave them around. And then I would go back days later and the bottle would be open and the message would be gone. And I would think I'm creating art that just one person in the world is going to receive. And yet it's there for anybody to receive. And then I thought now I want it to be more public. And so I created using contact paper, uh, these adhesive flags, I, I'm, I, I'm obsessed almost with American flags. I have been since childhood. And, uh, but I wanted to do flags that people, that people would look at and say, oh, that's American flag. But it does, it's not the American flag. It's not, but they'll see the American flag. Because I didn't want to do an American flag, you know, and then put it on contact paper. So what? So I was doing these things and trying to come up with new designs and stuff. And then I would put them on the scaffolding that goes around sidewalks. And I remember somebody saying to me once, you've got to see this thing. It's just amazing. And I, what is it? They're, they're, they're American flags, but they're not American flags. And they're, they're just, you know, and I said, I did those, you know? So it was like, to have that come around to you 
was so uplifting because in general, now you do, you do a piece of public art. I didn't sign these things. These are signed because I wanted to have a record of them for my own collection. But I, you know, you, I, didn't, I didn't have my name up there and I wasn't in there to people to say, oh yeah, that's a John Morse. But I did want the world to see them. And you know what? As they say, you're in New York City. Uh, people, if, if, people, if you're there, people are gonna notice you. The question is, are they gonna dig it? And that's your whole struggle. That's your whole effort is, you're doing it in New York, it better be worth it for New Yorkers to look at. So I'm, I'm, uh, I, 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 I love those pieces. I, I, I thoroughly love them and, and uh, I'm so happy I made them most definitely. Yes. There's also two other flags that I snatched from you. The Wove flag, which is a newer one. It's literally wove, woven, if you will, woven flag, sorry. I've got wove paper on my head. But, um, and then we have the ghost flag, of course, too, hanging together and I'll send you pictures of that. I, oh, I, please I, do. They're, they're, they're fantastic together. But I actually have a larger tag on the four flags hanging together explaining that these are historically important. They're the last four remaining of all of the street art you did in New York. They're the only yeah. four that remain. And they're on the wall to be appreciated. And there'll be people coming in after the VIP event to oh, gawk. Anyway, so you would come um, to a more simplistic design for street art, something so simple that it's almost difficult for people to, how, do, how does he think that up? You've got the four flags, which are simple, but not simple because they're not actually flags.